Well, hello YouTube. I know I haven't been on in a couple of days. And I don't know what I did or when I did it, but I strained my back a couple of days ago. Don't even know how I did it. But I wanted to show you. Yesterday I come on out and went on ahead and got most of the paint off. And I got several of these little screws out of the hinge here hinges. I'm going to try to take a little knife or something, a little blade here, a little screwdriver or something and get down in there now since it's dry and I don't have to worry about getting the shit all over me. I can take and get that stuff off of it enough before I can get the rest of the screws out and get that door off. I'll just take a little, I'm not even sure what kind of a knife this is. I found it in a bunch of junk in a drawer once. Don't know what it was ever meant to be used for, but this is what I use it for. I don't bother trying to sharpen the blade or anything else. They're just perfect for stuff like this. And it's a weird looking little knife. I it's just wear eye protection. Not insulated, will not protect against electrical shock. But that's about all it says. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know what kind of knife it is. One more screw over here that's kind of full on the paint. I think I got enough of it out. I can use this now. We'll get our shorter screwdriver here. Pull the crud off of it and see if we can't get it down in there and turn these screws here now. I think I got it turned. I did, I got the turn. So this one here, this is the only screw that was left holding this one in. So I got turned just a little bit more. I'll be able to pull it out. There we are. Got that hinge ready to pop off. There it is. It's ready to go down in the, into the bag to soak now. Set that down there and I'll see if I can't get these two screws out. If I can get them started or whatever. I sure don't want to start, I know that. I gotta get a little crud. I'm getting it to turn the least little bit, but it sure is a hassle. Ugh. All right, they start to turn now. Turn the thread out of the slot too, but tear the metal out of the slot, but what can you do? I've got I've got all new replacement screws for these things, so I don't care. <laughs> Just went down to the old hardware store and took one of the old screws like this with me and found some new ones that almost identical to them. So now I still got the one left here. Get it off. I'll get these doors off and we'll start washing this thing with lacquer thinner. If I can get this one, I got one screw to go here. 
what you know it, it's going to be the, the hardest one of the bunch. Cheaters on. I got a couple pairs of cheaters out here because it's hard to keep up with one, just one pair. Yeah, this one's been buggered up here now. This screw head has. Looks like somebody hit it with a hammer or something. I might have enough out to get it with this little tea tiny screwdriver. <sighs> or not. Yeah, I think I'm getting it. <sighs> yeah, it's turning. Alright, now I take the pressure off and then it turn it out. We'll have done with this. Whew. We'll get them things off. Them things are a little strong. Those glasses there are. <laughs> oh, a little too strong. Now we'll get underneath this hinge and pull that off. And we're ready to start backing those up. I want to take this door off and put it to the side for a while. Just set it down over here. Don't worry about these doors later. When I got room on the bench up here somewhere. <laughs> Good luck with that, huh? <coughs> All right, let's get the other butter bowl here and get the spider webs hanging from the ceiling off of me. Hate those doggone things. Spiders don't really bother me all that much, but I hate having the things draping my hair. Or, well, I say hair. <laughs> like I had any. <laughs> all right, we'll go ahead. Not much left in this lacquer thinner can, but we got another gallon of it over there. Oh, 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 oh. get that off of there. It's a horrible place to pour it now. Pour it right on top of the <laughs> the new cabinet there. <laughs> Into the well the newly refinished cabinet here. And got a drop over here on it. That's okay. I can clear that up with just a little quick shot of lacquer. I'll set that down there. That's where we'll do with it from now on. Now I went on ahead and drained out this here old, old, one. old bottle of stripper. I say I had into this bucket. And right now I'm gonna take it and slather it on good around the underside of where these doors and stuff was. But we're not going to worry about getting the lacquer thinner on these parts right yet. We're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of this stuff here on and try to get the rest of this little bit of paint off of it. And it'll come off easy enough. I just 
doing this for shits and giggles mostly. I mean, I can, I can scrape the rest of it off, but there's a chance I could take a little bit of the wood with it. I just assume not if I didn't have to. All right, go ahead and grab our lacquer there and get us a towel. I'm gonna start wiping on this side over here. Work up the towel, there it is. Now a lot of folks will wear gloves and stuff with lacquer thinner. And if you can find something that'll last with lacquer thinner, be my guest. But I've got them nitrile gloves and you put them down a lacquer thinner and they fall apart real quick. <laughs> Paint, the little, what little residue is on there will begin to come off real quick when you start rubbing this lacquer thinner on. Not because it's lacquer paint, it's not, it's latex paint, but it's sitting on top of what's left of the original lacquered finish. And this gets into that lacquered finish and takes it off pretty quick, which forces the paint on top of it to come right with it. I can find a dry spot on here to hold it. Now, ordinarily, I would have this standing up on end on the floor, and I will go back and do that later on, just so that I can pour the lacquer thinner straight onto the piece and let it soak in, soak it good. But I just wanted to ship. How done. <laughs> I keep putting my hand up there where I've just put that stripper on. I keep cleaning the stripper off with lacquer thinner. I say, I, this is just barely getting any on there. And you can see, how fast it's taking this paint residue and stuff off. Just scrubbing it with this old rag here. And like I say, I mean, here for too long, I will go ahead and shut the camera off and put this up, up there where I can Put that drop cloth down and put it down on the floor. And take turns putting it on each side. Pouring the lacquer thinner to it. second coat of citrus strip took all this down to the bare wood like this it just slid off like glop stuck my hand down in that shit again <laughs> but at this point I don't care I'll wash my hand off when I get done <clears throat> I was never accused of being the brightest crayon in the box
And like I say, this will come off thicker when I can get it set on, it, on its side. But I'm just giving you a quick show here. What I'm gonna do with it. There's still gonna be a lot on here and whatnot, but not near as much as there was. Most of what's on here is gonna be in the cracks, crevices and cracks and stuff, but that'll all start coming off real real soon once I like I say get it soaking on here good. Wash off my damn hand again. Now lacquer thinner does have a pretty a pretty strong odor but as long as you're not right over top of it breathing it in it's nowhere near as strong as like spray paint fumes or nothing like that. So there's nothing to worry about there. It'll dry your hands out. It'll dry your hands out pretty good. But again, get back inside the house, put a little lotion on, man. You'll be all right. I want to take this drop cloth here and pull it over here for I can. Out of the way. I want to get this thing off of here now. And uh, set her down. Big grief, I'm running out of places to sit stuff. When I get this thing done, I'm definitely going to go and Definitely want to go and well, it's one of them brain parts, isn't it? Definitely going to clean up the garage. <laughs> All right, Gary, move the camera again. Now you can see how it's cleaned the whole, cleaned up a whole lot of that mess that was on it, and you still see places where it still is there this under here I'm not worried about is not going to show it's on the, it's on the bottom of the piece I mean I'll, I'll give it a cursory wipe or two but like I say I mean it's never nobody's ever going to see it unless they're laying slap down on the floor beside the thing Now we'll take the rags there. Uh oh, I forgot. I got the little safety thing in it. I guess I assume that's some kind of child protective thing or something. We just pour it on. Now grab a grab a rag here. Wipe it around and let it get this every bit of it wet. And we'll just let that sit on there for a little while. Pour a little bit more on. Don't be afraid of it. See, as I start rubbing this now, how fast it takes that mess off of there. You gotta leave, use a little bit of elbow grease, but in the end it's worth it because you'll have a much cleaner finish than what you started with here 
a few moments ago. I'll turn your rag fairly often. One rag dirties up, we'll grab you another. Now I've got enough of this off to where I can go ahead and get my little pick tool and kind of get down in there scrape out down in, inside of it now down in the corners real good Pardon me if I don't talk much. I just don't have a whole lot to say. I'm trying to pay closer attention to what I'm doing up here. Nice idea if I paid a little bit closer attention to what I'm doing up here instead of I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that stuff there off. There'll right, be places on here where you want to wait and take some sandpaper to it. Like right here, there's some rough edge on it there. I'll sand on that a little bit. Rough parts of the wood. They're just gonna need sanding down some. But I hope you can see how much better this is starting to look. Now that we've got a lot of this old paint off of it. Considering what this looked like the last time, <laughs> Y'all, at least the last time y'all saw it, I think it looks 100% better. But I'll keep washing and using the pick, getting down in these corners, getting the paint out and stuff. And I was talking about Give this bottom piece just a little cursory run over here. Like I say, I mean, there's not much that's going to show, but you can go ahead and take your rag and just to make it as professional as you can, you know. I mean, say so there's not a whole lot to worry about here because, like I say, this isn't going to be seen. But it don't hurt to go ahead and give it a wipe. Now, like I say, there's not a whole lot that's going to come off on for the simple reason that, like I say, it's not like your paint with latex. But you can get a whole lot cleaner than what it was. This down here wouldn't have had any lacquer sprayed on it anyway, which is why the paint isn't coming off. I say that they wouldn't have put, bothered to put lacquer on that because that's the bottom of the thing. Now let me 
turn the camera off for just a second. I want to sharpen up one of these knives. 